Okay, would you mind walking a little faster? We got things to do around here. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Good afternoon, I'm Mandy. How can I help you? I'm applying for the next position. Oh, you're Sheila? That's me. Do you have a resume with you? Right here. Here you go. So you graduated college? Mm-hmm. Top of my class. I bet your family's proud. They are very proud. <laughs> so I guess you're the first one to graduate college? Um, no, my mom and dad, they graduated, so. Oh, that's a surprise. Um, I'm not understanding a surprise. Are you trying to imply something? How about we talk about the job position? Okay, okay. So I know you applied for the front desk position. However, our company caters to a different type, a different kind of people. And I'm not so sure you would be a good representation of the company. I mean, after all, you would be the first face they see. Okay, um, is there something wrong with my face? Is it not good enough or like? <laughs> well, I'm not saying that. It's just, you know, getting the right type of clients, you know, they, they tend to stick to their own. I mean, if you know what I mean. Stick to their own? What do you mean, stick to their own? I'm not. You know what? We can't hire you. I, I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase. We won't be able to hire you. Thank you for coming by. I don't understand. I thought everybody gets equal opportunity in the workplace. Yes, but you're not what we're looking for. So, thank you for coming by. I don't understand. <laughs> what is there not to understand? We don't want you, so you can leave. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty easy. Did they hire you to be mean or to manage this company? Look, I am the manager here. And what I say goes. And I'm over the hiring process and you will not be working for us. And if you refuse to leave my office, I'm going to have to call security. Security for what? Why are you threatened? Because at this point, you're the one who's standing over me and yelling. You know what? It's fine. Yeah, can I have security in my office, please? Thank you. Thank you. This is ridiculous. I don't understand why you're treating people like this. Keep talking. Security's gonna be here any minute. I swear you people don't listen. You people? What do you mean by that? Because as far as I'm concerned, the color of my skin has not done anything to you, and the color of my skin has not committed a crime. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Can you get her out of my office, please? Yeah, I don't think so. Now? Come on, what are you doing? I, I said get her out of my office. That's your job, right? Come on, go, get her up. Do you understand that you're disobeying a direct order from your manager? I tell you to remove her and you're not removing her. What is going on? Do you want to lose your job? Go on, remove her. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You do talk. Well then, why can't you do that? <clears throat> You know what's funny? You don't even pay attention to what's going on here. You're too focused on being uptight and racist to not even know the small detail. I bet you don't even know who the owner of this company is. I do know who the owner is. And like I said, I'm the manager. Hmm. But you know, you would know that they're black, right? Yeah, go ahead and look that up. Remove her. What are you doing? Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm the manager. All right, come on. Let's well, go. I happen to be the owner's daughter and heiress of the company. <sighs> I did not know that. Yeah, I am so sorry. Save it. This company was built off of sacrifice and hard work. It's people like you, racist, self centered, that we don't want representing our company. So you can get out. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, 
I was just having a bad day. A bad morning? Do you even know why I'm here? We've been getting so many complaints from you, from the customers to the clients, about how you've been treating them. And my father sent me down here personally to find out what's going on, and I see what's going on. So that's that, so you can go. Ma'am, here's your coffee. I'll take that, thank you. What's going on? Oh, this is Mandy. This is her last day, and she'll no longer be working here. Bye, Mandy. Please, Bye. I have a family. I have a son. It's okay, thank I you. I have black friends. Sorry. I watch BET. What's wrong with you? Julie, how would you like to be the new manager of this branch? <gasps> oh, my God. Me? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? I would love to. What should I do? Let's start right now. It would be great to have you. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. A thousand times yes. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Well, go ahead and sit down, sir. Um, the job is all yours and I know you'll do us proud. The moral of the story is never disrespect or belittle anyone. We are all human beings and we deserve to be treated with respect. Treat people how you want to be treated. Racism is wrong. Discrimination is wrong. Let's take a stance today and let love lead the way.